All right, all right, all right. Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon Raptor Patrick, back at it again. And welcome back to Outlast. Okay, before you guys say anything in the comment section, I know I've played this game before. However, I do not remember anything from the damn game because it's been so fucking long. Not only that, I wanted to play it on a harder difficulty this time. That way, I can at least spice it up. But I wanted to go back to Outlast because I just recently bought Outlast 2 and I really wanted to finish the se series before I go to Outlast 2 and there was a lot of story and stuff that I missed in the first time around that I just wanted to go back and do it. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content. Don't demonetize me YouTube. And strong language, please enjoy. Well it's a horror game so I probably won't be enjoying this shit. But you are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum, stay alive as long as you can, record everything, you are not a fighter, to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or- Now, I haven't played this game in over, probably over a year and a half. I don't remember any of the jump scares. I don't even remember the story. All I remember is the asylum. That's it. Oh god, we're back in this again. Hey man, turn it back to freaking Kendrick Lamar, dude. I was listening to Humble. I not care less about this fucking storm bullshit. Whatever though. Oh, it's right. Oh, there she is. The worst place I have ever experienced. And I don't even remember the jump scares. So this is gonna be horrible. Wait, how does uh, how does um this guy drive like this? Look. Mount Massive Asylum. I did. Well, I I don't understand the point of coming here when you know it's abandoned and there's stuff inside of it that you just don't want to see. And nice parking job, asshole. I don't even remember this. Alright, this is something I never read before. You do not know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. I'd rather be- I'd rather go home than be at this place. Fuck this place. And the reason I say that is because this game is absolutely freaking terrifying. Alright bro, we get it. You got a camera, alright. I literally do not remember anything about this damn horror game. And it's kind of worrying me now. <laughs> alright, well, alright, hold on, notes. Alright, we got nothing here. Alright, well, it's a nice day for a, um. Fuck you, by the way. You know, I, you know, maybe I wanted to go out, but you know what? Nah. Alright, that's how you bring up the camera again. I see my YouTube channel, um, dual monitors, bro, th this place must be rich, bro. Um, but yeah, my YouTube channel, it's right, it's right there, you guys see it? It says Lemon Raptor, right on it. I can't see crap. Wait, how many, okay, I'm only allowed to have two batteries as well. Where is your camcorder? I know. I, I forgot how to sprint. Oh, okay. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record and disguising profit as charity. 
but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Hey man, watch your mouth. There's kids watching. Why are there military trucks here? Alright, well, I'm going in. Oh, uh, well, that would be too fucking easy, wouldn't it? Uh, hey, fucker! Let me in, alright? You know what? It's the police. Let me the fuck in there. Oh, fuck you up. Alright, well, gotta find another way in. Like, literally, guys, like I'm saying, I do not remember anything. I think. Is this it over here? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I remember this place, but not too much of it. I just know how to get up there. Okay. Is this, this door's locked, isn't it? Yep. Of course they would lock the doors. With the camcorder, you can zoom in and out. Oh, I can zoom in on the booty. Alright, alright, uh, music. You can just get more ominous. Alright, then. Oh, I remember the controls now for this. I forgot how to turn it into night vision. Oh, it's pushed down on the right trigger. Alrighty, then. So I remember the controls completely. Oh, up we go. Oh, what? come on now. Oh, it's so dark now, too, isn't it? Crap. I, I need... Uh, wait. How you doing? Ah, I did. That was lovely. Doesn't seem like there's anything useful here. Hello? God, I forgot how scary this game is. Ah, I did. Hello? Hello? Battery. What? Where is everybody? Hi. How are you? Don't mind me. Or right, can you be any more subtle, you fucking bitch? Whoa. Confidential? Not anymore. Project Wall Rider. Okay. Therapy status. Patient claims to be progress to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at the unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule, diagnostics, spirometry, revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemerotorcrit, centrifuge, again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and NREM cycles. Laughter and NREM state. How are you laughing in your, sta uh, in your sleep, buddy? How are you doing that? Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff psy psy Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Okay, well, I guess um, Billy likes to laugh in his sleep. Hey! 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 Let me in, dude. I gotta take a shit. Alright, then. I'm not sure if I wanna go in there anyway. Uh. Please avoid contamination. Wash your hands. Is that is that an umbilical cord? Mmm, that that is some good eating. Cola, drink it. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, this is so sketchy. I hate these. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't remember most of the jump scares. I do remember some of the parts in the beginning, but that's about it. Alright. Oh my fucking god! 
I forgot about you, you little shit. See, that's what I mean. I forgot about that. Like, it, I know it happened before, but I totally forgot about it now. Hey, bro, they hung you wrong. Alright, shut up! Oh, oh alright, that's creepy. Oh, hello, sir. They killed us. You got out. The very. Mm hmm. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Oh, yeah? You can unlock the main doors. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks. Heads lined up like body bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit the exploitation of supposed charity, fuck the third world, and bankroll another million. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pin like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Nah, bro, this place seems real happy, man. I, I, I'm gonna just leave you here. You just mind your own business. Oh, I forgot about this freaking dick shit. Oh my god. I forgot about that guy. Alright then. This looks promising. Alright, I'm gonna go stealth here. What the fuck? Oh, hi. Oh, what a beautiful face you got there, man. Yeah. By the way, I don't think anybody would have survived that fall. Because first of all, you went through- Oh, God. I forgot this fool is freaking ugly as hell. Everybody's ugly here. But, like, I totally forgot most of the jump scares. Like, I know some of the things that happened. God, you have sent me an apostle. But, like, a lot of the jump scares will probably get me again. You have a calling. Plus, I missed a lot of the story last time I played as well. So there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Alrighty then. Like I said, you probably wouldn't have survived that fall. Well, I'm guessing uh, Gabe threw you out the window too, huh? Probably. New objective, escape the asylum, access security, uh, yeah. Alright, that's not gonna happen. That's a given. Alright. Hey, bro, what you watching? Confidential, not anymore. Alright, I am. Um, because I'm gonna run low on time, I am just gonna hold these up for a few minutes. If you guys wanna read it, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. And. Because I gotta save time. Like, I don't have time to read every single document. Like, I, I will read it on my spare time, obviously. But. I don't have time to read every single one. Oh, uh, I forgot what the hell to do from this point. Alright, I can only have two batteries, too. So. Alright. Hey, man. Yeah, you, you, you sleeping on the job? That's classy. Oh, what the fuck? Plant, you scared the fuck out of me. I, lo I look away and didn't even notice you there. Alright, Dan. I would like to have some more batteries, please. Right then. Confidential, hold on. How do I, how do I replace batteries? Oh, okay. Confidential. I just need as many of those things as I can get. There's one over here somewhere. Oh, 
I don't remember if this guy attacks me or not. Hey, bro. Alright, well, he's alive. I, I totally forgot if this guy attacks me. Hey, man, you want some toilet paper? Alright, buddy. Alright. I'm gonna just, uh, fuck off. Okay, so he doesn't attack me. Hey, man. What if I told you guys about watching porn, alright? This guy looks like he's gonna kill me. And that guy's just being a pussy. Great. <coughs> Alright. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I got through here. card for security control. Thank you, sir. You're very kind. There has to be a battery laying around here somewhere. Uh -huh. Alright, well, guys, uh, I'll see you on the flip side, and I'm going out. I thought we was cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <sighs> My God. I thought he w wasn't gonna attack me at all. What a fucking asshole. My heart's freaking beating. God, that guy's such an asshole for that. Hello? Um, right. No, 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 no. On second thought, I just want to leave this place and go home. Oh, but of course. Oh, well, that's just that's just nice. Um, I I've had I've had this experience before, man. Uh, you can just knock out on the toilet. Um, yeah. Oh, that's just nasty. Uh -huh. Oh. Alright then. Oh, yes. They lie. Alright then. Objective, restart jet the generator in the basement. What? I Alright guys, I'm going to have to leave that episode off there. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Outlast, remember to support by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fight the subscribe button like a champion. Um, yeah, this game is still freaking terrifying to me, um, surprisingly enough. I didn't think it was going to be able to scare me anymore.
Yep, yeah, I totally forgot about some of those jump scares. And what that last one really got me really freaking good, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.